Hi and welcome to Moms on a Mission. If you have not subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button below. Also hit the bell notification so you know when we upload a video. Grab your coffee. We're going to be reading Psalm 40 this morning. And this is going to be for those of you that have just been going through a lot of things, dealing maybe with falling uh, into a sin and just really, um, you know, feeling guilty and needing the Lord to just pull you up out of that pit. So let's go ahead and jump in. I waited patiently for the Lord, and He inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock. And of course, the rock we know from other scriptures is Jesus Christ. And established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth. Praise to our God. Many will see it in fear and will trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man is that man who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O oh Lord my God, are your wonderful works which you have done and your thoughts toward us cannot be recounted to you in order. If, you, if I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you did not require. Then I said, Behold, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O oh my God, and your law is within my heart. I have proclaimed the good news of righteousness in the great assembly. Indeed, I do not restrain my lips, O oh Lord, you yourself know. I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth from the great assembly. Do not withhold your tender mercies from me, O Lord. Let your loving kindness and your truth continually preserve me. For innumerable evils have surrounded me. My iniquities have overtaken me so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the hairs of my head. Therefore, my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let me be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion who seek to destroy my life. Then let them be driven backward and brought to dishonor who wish me evil. Let them be confounded because of their shame who say to me, Aha, aha. Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let such as love your salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified, but I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinks upon me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O oh my God. This scripture just really um, speaks to me, you know, as a sinner saved by grace because... David, excuse me, David, um, he confessed his sins to the Lord, and then the Lord came in, and the Lord saved him, and healed him, and delivered him, you know, over and over again, and um, as we walk with the Lord, our walk is not going to be perfect. We won't be made perfect until we are in the presence of the Lord, until this body dies, and, and we've been either resurrected into a new body or just our spirit is uh, back in the presence of the Lord when this body dies. So um, with that being said, as Christians, as, as believers justified um, by faith in Christ Jesus, by His grace, His gift of death on the cross and His resurrection unto eternal life, we are called to strive uh, to walk in holiness and to walk in righteousness and to produce good fruit. Uh, we have the Holy Spirit and the fruits of the Spirit. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I remember them all, but they're going to be patience and uh, love and kindness and long-suffering and perseverance, um, self-control. There may be some others that I'm overlooking, but uh, those are the things that we should be striving for and those are the, the fruits that we should be allowing the Holy Spirit to work through us and to come out of us because we are children of God. So, but just, um, if you have done something, you know, if you've fallen into sin or, or you just um, maybe said something that wasn't uh, fruitful uh, in the way that it should be, you know, wasn't a 
produced from the Holy Spirit, but was produced from the flesh, you know, just know, just go to God, confess your sins, and ask Him for forgiveness. His mercies are new every morning, and just start your day afresh. I hope this has been a blessing, and I hope this has helped someone out there. God willing, I will see you tomorrow. May the peace of our Lord be with you. Shalom. Bye.